Hey everyone, this is an icon of rock and roll, while this is an icon of photography. And it's also an icon, the Nikon F. Back in the 1950s, the big names in the camera market were Leica and Raleigh, with the Raleigh Flex, and maybe Contax. German brands, Deutsche Qualität, Vorsprung durch Technik. Well, you all know that. Japanese manufacturers already had a name for themselves with Pentax and Minolta, but this camera came out in 1959, making it the camera for the 1960s. The camera was very popular amongst news photographers for good news like um, Woodstock or bad news like the war in Vietnam and the fashion photographers like um, this one, Helmut Newton. It was also used in movies about the Vietnam War like Apocalypse Now or um, Full Metal Jacket and the other movies like The French Connection and many others. Plus you'll find a lot of celebrities using one of these like Jane Birkin or George Harrison or the boss himself. Come on, Bruce Springsteen with an Icon F? That's the Telecaster of cameras. But the biggest question is why? This camera doesn't even have a light meter. Like you need a photo big prism. More on that later. But it's a pretty basic camera. I mean, shutter speeds, aperture. You have a depth of field preview and a self timer and the mirror lockup, which was needed for certain type of lenses. And besides that, that's it. I mean, there's nothing much to say about it. There's not a lot of features. I mean, <laughs> It's a pretty basic camera. And my microphone just died. After one year of good services, it's now dead. Rest in peace. Anyways, the reason why so many photographers love this camera is its ruggedness. It's built like a tank. I mean, there's no plastic. It's all metal. The shutter curtain is a titanium and you will hardly find any plastics on this camera. The war photographer Don McCullin had one of these shot with a bullet. And the legend says that the Nikon F saved Don McCullin's life. That's a testimony on how well they were built. But simplicity doesn't mean the camera doesn't have any features. The camera has a removable viewfinder and interchangeable focusing screen. Now you can use a waist level finder or the photomic prism that allows you to get a metered Nikon F. Well, be careful, it uses mercury batteries, but anyways. Lots of accessories like motor drives and uh, 200 exposure bags turn this camera into a whole system. This is a camera that could be tailor-made to fit your photographic needs. And should I mention that NASA used the modified Nikon F back in the day? Should I mention image quality? Come on, it's a Nikon with Nikon lenses. Here's a slideshow of some pictures I shot a few days ago in Paris. And look at that, the images are sharper. <laughs> Nothing to complain about. This is really a good camera, even by today's standards. One of the reasons people praised Nikon cameras is the compatibility. The fact that you could use any Nikon lens on any camera body. Well, just look at that. This is a 2004 lens from Nikon, mounted on a 1959 Nikon. Obviously, it's manual focus and VR is not working. But the fact that you could use this is mind-blowing. Try to do that with a Canon or a Minolta. Good luck. Not even Pentax does this. I wasn't born when this camera was bought by its original owner, but each time I grab it I hear something like this. Well, not, not too much because I don't want to get a copyright strike. But in any case, this is an iconic camera. An iconic Nikon. It's a collector's item. Should you get one of these in 2023? Well, I would recommend you to get the plain prism like mine. It um, costs a little bit more, but the photomic prism has some issues, unless you want one that is fully restored and that is made to use modern day batteries. You will also have a problem with the flash because of its proprietary art shoe, so you will need to get an adapter. But as the cool factor, it's nothing cooler than that. I mean, this is the Nikon F. This is the camera you want if you want to get an iconic camera, an iconic Nikon. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Leave a like, a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Goodbye. Well, look at that. This is a 2000 era lens with a VR and autofocus mounted on a 1959 Nikon. <laughs> I'm going to keep this for the bloopers.